Hi everyone, in this video is an introduction for laboratory physics 1, experiment 1, earlier and significant figure. The objective for this experiment is to study the type of errors encountered in experimental works and method of computing percentage error and to study the meaning of significant figures and their application in the observations and computation of experimental work. In this experiment, everyone will got the aluminum box and then a metal ruler. We will use the metal ruler to measure the size of aluminum box, measure the length, measure the width, and measure the thickness using the metal ruler by measuring in uh, centimeter scale and also in inch scale. So that's the idea for this experiment. For the theory about significant figure, already mentioned in detail in the video for the introduction to significant figure and percentage error. One can watch the video and the material from left zero cross introduction start from slide 10 until to the end of the slide or one can check from the link below here one important effect that made the other in the measurement that is parallax the parallax is the appearance distance between two objects depend on the position of the eye two objects may appear to be in line when view with one eye but out of line when view with the other eye or when we move our head from side to side for example if we look in the picture here the object are not moving but the observer is moving and when we observe the object that close to the observer compared to the object that further away it will look like the object that close to the observer is moving faster than the object that further away but actually every object here is not moving then the relative velocity between object and the observer should be the same so this is the effect of parallax. So for the measurement, we have to look carefully to eliminate the parallax effects. For example, the parallax due to the thickness of the measurement in this figure, if we measure something and our ruler have thickness, when you look perpendicular to the object and the ruler, you will got the correct value for the length of the object. But if you look at some angle, so due to the thickness of the Lula, you will read another value that deviates from the correct value. In this example, if you move to the left side, one can read 4.6 for the length of the object. But if you move to the right side, one can read 5.0 for the length of the object. So this is parallax. We can eliminate this effect if we use the very thin ruler or the scale of our ruler is 
below. So if our ruler have valid thin, so when we look from any angle, one can read the same value for the length of the object. Another thing that we have to be careful when we read the scale from the glass tube, for example, from the thermometer. If I read for the level of the mercury in the tube near the scale as shown in figure 1.1, the right side must always be perpendicular then we can read the correct value but if we look for example in the line A to D the reading will be 4.4 but when we read from the direction from C to D we will read 4.6 but the correct value should be here when we read perpendicular that is 4.5 so this is also we have to be careful when we read the scale in this experiment everyone will get one aluminium box and the metal ruler that we have a centimeter scale and in scale we use the ruler to measure the length of the aluminum box three times and then record the length in centimeter scale and then we measure the width of the aluminum box also measure three times and find the mean of the width and length and then measured three times for the thickness and also we have to compare for the measurement in centimeter and in inch for the length then for the length we have to measure six times three times in centimeter scale and three times in inch scale and from this measurement data, we find the mean of range of width and thickness. And then we use the mean of this side to calculate for the volume of the aluminum box. In this slide, show an example of measurement for the length of the aluminum box using the centimeter scale to measure the length of the aluminum block so we have to measure three times then you have to choose three position of the aluminum block in the same dimension and read in centimeter scale from this measurement three measurement read 4.05 cm and also we have to measure in British scale or in inch from this measurement we have the value about 1 and 19 over 32 inch Then also use the same metal ruler to measure another side of the aluminum block using centimeter scale three times as shown in this slide. And then do the same for the thickness, measure three times at different position from the value of the measurement we 
compute for the relative between inch and centimeter by using the average of the length of the aluminum blocks. We know the accepted value for one inch is equal to 2.54 cm. Then we use this value compared to our measurement and calculate for the percentage error. Then show the cal calculation. So that's our idea for this experiment one. Goodbye. Thank you.